fantasy football versus real life. We're here with Turbo, AKA Taylor Gabriel. Here we go. What's going on, fantasy football fans? I'm your host, Hussein the Brain, and you're watching the couch. How you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. If you guys want more awesome videos like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. Out here in Atlanta, the fans go crazy, but do you have any idea why fantasy football fans love you? I believe just because I was unexpected and I was kind of like a stash away to get them extra and hidden points. So uh, we'll see this year, man. Yeah, absolutely. There's there's two reasons. One, yeah, people love the underdog and everything. Also, it's the explosive plays. We all remember CJ2K. Uh, Scope <laughs> behind the camera just called him CJ2K yeah, the other yeah, day. Yeah, that yeah. was a while ago. And man, that guy got 2,000 yards. We love those explosive plays, the big touchdowns when you go 40, yeah. 50 plus, and, and that's what people love. And that's why we're big Taylor Gabriel fans. Your biggest motivation. Family, man, I, I, I really have to rely on my family. And uh, just from where I came from and the things that we have to overcome and go through as my mom passing and things like that. So I feel like my biggest motivation is family and proving critics wrong. Do you have a chip on your shoulder? Is that chip with you every day? Uh, of course, just uh, coming out of college, coming out of high school, I was too small. Uh, I, was, I wasn't as fast as uh, the, the fastest person. I wasn't the tallest. I couldn't jump the highest. So uh, I always had a chip on my shoulder for proving people wrong and proving people that I can be great and I, I will be the best at whatever I have going on. So, Man, you're getting me excited for this season, man. Yeah. Get, it, get it reduced. Yeah. Get it juiced. Yeah. You go up against the Falcons defense at practice. I already assume you, you guys go hard in practice. I, I've talked to NFL players. <laughs> right, that's right, right? Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, it's just competing. Uh, we have things like uh, turnover Wednesdays or touchdown Thursdays and things like that. And I feel like uh, that's why the brotherhood is stronger than uh, what people think it is because uh, we go out and compete every day. It's not just a cakewalk out there. We're not just practicing, going through the motions, trying to stay healthy and trying to, trying to stay focused. We're really trying to go out there and go over the top of people and, and, and score touchdowns and dunk on people out there. So uh, it's, it's competing. Last year and the year before, um, I was a fan of the Falcons' D as in, but I, I just thought they had a lot of potential. A lot of young guys, a lot of speed. Vic Beasley had a lot of talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw last year towards the end, it really started to mesh together. I see this defense as a force, not just, oh, they have potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Vic Beasley, he came alive last year. I think yeah. he's put it together. The secondary, I think, has improved. And the run defense uh, surprised me. I, I think they really showed it during playoffs. Tell me a little bit more about uh, the defense. What are, we, what are we looking forward to this year when it comes to the defense? Uh, we just picked up Poe, just picked up a lot of more faster linebackers, just like uh, Deion Jones. Defense is about speed and high collisions. You have Keanu Neal. He's a good dude. And when you talk about rookies and all the rookies that we had starting last year, you talk about the rookies that's coming back, so you talk about experience, you talk about those guys being able, being able to play a full year, and now they get to come back. So if you thought the defense was good last year, the defense is going to be a lot better this year just due to experience and the guys being together in jail. Okay, you sold me definitely on that. And, uh, man, we're really, really looking forward to seeing that defense. Uh, and I think in the NFL nowadays, you you got to be fast. I mean, since 2008, yeah. how it's been shifting to yeah. a passing. I mean, you have to be extremely fast, extre going left and right. You got to cover the whole field. Yeah, um, yeah man, we're, we're really juiced. Hope you guys got juiced from that uh, Atlanta Falcons defense, guys. A little sleeper, a sleeper right there. Austin Hooper, a guy that another somewhat ooh, underdog. Ooh. Hooper. Tell us a little bit more about Austin Hooper. When you think about Austin Hooper, you think about a uh, humble rookie, someone who's always trying to learn, someone who asked me, Julio Sanu, for, for route suggestions. What should I do here? How should I release this way? So it's, it's, it's the hunger in him that excites me. I see the same rookie that I was trying to ask the older guys for things in, 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 that, that, that would help me out. So. Uh, and uh, when you think of who, man, you think of touchdown. That touchdown in the Super Bowl was crazy. Big, strong, fast, good in and out of breaks. And also, him and Matt has just been gelling a little bit outside of football, outside of uh, 7 on 7, outside of OTAs and things like that, and trying to connect their relationship and get their relationship better. So if Matt is going out of his way to do that, everybody should be excited. You don't know my rankings. You don't 
you don't care, but <laughs> should, should I move? Should I move this guy up in my rankings a little bit, Hooper? I think you should, man. I think you should. I don't know your rankings, and yeah. I don't care about your rankings. <laughs> yeah. But I think you should move, move him up. Move him up. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to move him up. Promise, bro. Shout out to Hoop, man. Toughest DB you ever went against ever. Uh, Just name a tough yeah, one. Yeah, let me name someone. Yeah, someone no, wor no worries. Just yeah, other people Alfred, named Robert too. Alfred. He's good. He's fast. He's good in and out of breaks. He he can get hands off. Do you like hip hop? Yeah, yeah, I love hip hop. If you had to resurrect one rapper, Tupac or Biggie or someone <laughs> else to see one last concert, just one, you know, one epic concert, no laser show. Yeah, yeah. Who are you going to resurrect? Biggie, man. I like Biggie's flow, man. He was just smooth, man. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know if that's Biggie's song, but that's what just came to mind for some reason. Super Bowl hangover. I think this, you've heard the term. I think it's crap. I think it applies this, this term a little bit. I don't like how it's said but i think it applies when a team wins the super bowl now the team has to overpay a player or, or they have to cash out yeah. uh von miller like this awesome player yeah. we have to give him a good contract yeah, joe yeah. flacco we have to give him a good contract yeah, then the yeah. team maybe slides a little bit with the cap space but what do you think of the term super bowl hangover are you guys hungry you guys are, must have been killer instinct this year like you were last year uh yeah of course uh, i wouldn't say we're in a Super Bowl hangover. I feel like uh, it's us waking up and trying to get back to the Super Bowl because we do we have that taste in our mouth and we know what it feels like to go through a whole year with our brothers grinding, struggling, overcoming injuries, playing through injuries to get to the Super Bowl. So uh, I feel like this one thing can that 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 will help us. This uh, not saying the Super Bowl loss will help us, but it just makes us hungrier to get back. And uh, I feel like as long as we stay healthy throughout the year i feel like we can make it back okay i hear overall you're a good guy yeah, yeah. you love to get back to yeah, the community yeah. what can the viewers do to help you out and help out the community we want to bring uh awareness to aneurysm through the uh lisa foundation that's uh helped me uh through a lot of the things that i was going through so uh, it's just something that i'm supporting just uh bringing awareness to uh aneurysm because my mom had an aneurysm and we kind of it, it wasn't informed on every everything and then a lot of people really don't know the background of aneurysms and the things that go on or the other other cautions or the red flags to knowing if you're going to have an aneurysm so i just teamed up with those guys and uh those guys are awesome and they're helping so if there's one thing that i can tell people to do uh just uh bring more awareness to this okay link down below guys check that out that's cool <laughs> turbo dance time. Teach us the turbo dance. Okay. All right, he's gonna teach us how to do the turbo dance. Lower every second. 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 We just hit 10,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. To show my appreciation, I am giving away 10 couch swag packs that include stickers, sunglasses, t shirts tanks all you got to do is leave a comment below and let me know what's your projection on how many yards taylor gabriel will get and how many touchdowns for the 2017 season also make sure you include the size shirt you wear i'll pick 10 random winners if you guys want to see more than one or two videos a week make sure you support me on my patreon page a small donation will get you cool stuff like shout outs pick the next topic of the video, etc., etc. So check that out. Haven't subscribed yet. Make sure you click that couch icon. Subscribe, like the video. I'll see you guys on the next one.